great. You can wait and judge that as we get going. All right, 30 minutes. Here is what the structure is going to look like. Um, we'll warm up together for two minutes. We'll go into a, a short cardio set, two minutes of, of cardio, kind of part of getting us warm. Then we're going to head down to the mat for our core work and then back up, um, back up to our feet for some total body strength stuff and then back on the mat for the rest of the time. You'll need really just, I think, one set of medium weights. But if you're a little uncertain of what that means to you, take options. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 15s and 20s um, for mine. So to have to have nearby if that helps, if that helps you. All right. So first two minutes, we're gonna start with inchworm walkout. So forward fold up to a high plank. You're gonna take one foot forward in a runner's lunge. Okay, and opposite hands gonna come, or actually the same hand. That's the foot forward. You're going to twist open and then switch those feet out. Twist open. So I'm opening toward my bent leg. And then instead of walking up, inchworm walking up, you're actually going to walk your feet to your hands and then turn it around. Okay, so inchworm walk out, runner's lunge, twist each side, and then walk up. All right, two minutes. I'll get the timer going. Ready, set, go. Inchworm walk out, runner's lunge, step forward, open and twist, switch your feet, other side, and now we're going to walk our feet to our hands, upright, switch sides, walk out, and just a little bit of, get all of your muscles warm. Boys usually have soccer Monday nights, and that takes three of them out of the house. But soccer was canceled because it rained here yesterday all day long. So the fields are a mess. Hey, Tracy, I'm just getting ready. So oh, okay. Okay. hey, hey. Okay, so our first couple minute warm up, and you're not too late because we just get, are getting started. Walk out, runner's lunge, twist open each side. And then you're going to walk your feet up to your hands. And we've got about 30 seconds here. And then we're going to switch into some cardio. Give me one more walk out. All right, back up right. All right, you should be good in, good in limber now. All right, here's our cardio set. It's going to be um, as many rounds as possible for these two minutes when I tell you to get started. So 15 second rest. But here's the sequence. It's four jumping jacks four squats, and then four sumo squats with an oblique crunch to each knee, okay? So that counted as one, two, three, four, okay? Then I'm back upright for four jumping jacks. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, four squats. I'll remind you, but you go your pace. Sumo squats with elbow tap. Be intentional about squeezing those obliques as you come down to each side.
30 more seconds. And we're gonna stay on our feet. We're gonna, I'm gonna switch the sequence a little bit so we're not up and down. 15 seconds here, then you're gonna be ready for those medium dumbbells. You'll get a 30 second rest again. All right, you can rest, or if you wanna light jog in place, here's our sequence. Um, we've got 45 second AMRAP with um, 15 second rest. So AMRAP as many rounds as possible. You're gonna give me squat, clean, press, and then hinge forward for three rows. Two, three, all right? So give it a try with your medium set. If you need more of a challenge, you can add that back, all right? So squat, clean, comes up to my shoulders, overhead press, hinge forward three rows. One, two, three, all right? And then back to the squat, clean, press. Rest in three, two, one. All right, 15 second rest. If you can up your weight, do it now. We've got five more rounds. Starting in five, four, three. All right, squat, clean, press, go. Bend over rows, three of them. We saw a man called Otto this weekend. It was really good. I should have read the book first. I'm ashamed to say I did not, but I enjoyed the movie still. And rest. Good, at very least you might wanna rest your grip Rest your grip, change out weights if you need to. Five seconds, we're gonna do it again. What was the movie? Oh, A Man Called Otto. I still didn't hear. Oh shoot, A Man Called Otto. Yes. Squat, clean, press. Sorry, it's probably the echo in here. But the book was a man called Ove, so you might know that. There's a reason that I was always in the back row of my dance classes. I just cannot remember the moves. I'm sure they told me it was because I was tall, but. Three, 
two, one, go. And rest. All right, last one coming up. So one more of these, then we're gonna be on the mat for our core work. Three, two, one, go. I'm taking with me a lighter set because our last round today, we've got front raises and bicep curls. And I don't think I could get these weights out in front of me if I'm not swinging them. I told you this would be fun. Right, and rest. Woo, -hoo. good work. All right, you should have a couple options of dumbbells with you. Head to the mat. We're gonna start with our core work. Take my more heavily padded mat. We're gonna start two rounds of each. 50, 10, all right, starting with butterflies, go. Lauren was going to come off mute and tell me that it is fun, but you can tell me later. Good job. 20 seconds. seconds here, followed by a rest. Bicycles up next. Ten seconds. And rest. Ten seconds, then we go into bicycles.
10 seconds. Rest. All right, 10 second rest, then we're back into butterflies. So 50, 10, 50 seconds on, 10 second break. Butterflies, leg raises, and bicycles go. seconds, then leg raises, leg raises in five, go, we're a little light on, a uh, little light on lower body tonight, so expect we'll hit that tomorrow morning with a little extra. seconds. And rest. Whew. All right, last minute of core coming up. Five seconds and then butter or and bicycles. Sorry. Three, two, one. Bicycles go. All right, for our next circuit, Keep your bicycles pumping. Um, our next circuit will be a familiar one. It's chest flies and then skull pressures. So 25 seconds, 25 seconds, and then rest. 30 seconds here. Check your lower box spine. Make sure it's into the mat. You're halfway. And you're gonna switch. I'm gonna go to just one weight for these. Skull crushers, elbows are shoulder width apart.
and rest. All right, get that second weight in hand. You'll have just a 10 second rest. Five, we're back into chest flies in three, two, one, go. Switch to skull crushers. And rest. 10 second rest. Right back into chest flies in three, two, one, go. Skull crushers in three, two, one, switch. Good work. Halfway there. And rest. Good work. Get ready for chest flies again. In three, two, one, go. Skull crushers. And rest. Good work. All right, two more. Three, two, one, go. You can always switch out weights if you need to. Give a good exhale as you're pushing those weights up. Switch, skull crushers.
and rest. All right, good break. We're back at it in five. Last one. Ooh, go. Ooh, that's a little better. I swapped it out. All right, you'll have a good long break coming up. You're almost there. Switch, skull crusher is last one.
Always change out your weights whenever you need it. If it's not, if it's not hard enough, challenge yourself. If it's too much, swap them out. If this doesn't work on your knees, go ahead up to your feet. Whatever you need. We've got just two more. Go. I feel like maybe we only had time for five rounds. Is that possible? It's possible. We'll let it be. And front raises. I've learned teaching. The less, the less uh, t telling you I do about what's coming up, the less I have to be concerned about being a liar, right? So if I just tell you we're doing this, do it. I don't have to worry about having messed something up. Because I definitely know the teachers that say 10 more seconds when you're like, okay, that was clearly more like 20. All right, plank, last plank, 20 seconds. Squeeze those buns, flat backs, pull your shoulder blades together. Kneeling front raises, go. Last round. And as many curls as you can fit. A break and a stretch coming up in 15 seconds. I've got my whole whole scale of handbells out here. I needed options today. Five seconds. Ooh, and rest. Good work. All right, wiggle, wiggle those fingers, roll your wrists, stretch overhead, grab your right wrist, pull your left side. Left wrist to your right side. Good work. Big goal post, elbows out and down toward your rib cage. Spinal twist. One arm across your body. Your side. Okay, I apologize if it's hard to lift a basket of laundry after that or whatever you had planned for tonight. All right, take that hands and knees. If you didn't do this before, I could do it multiple times, but I flipped my fingertips back to point toward my knees and I'm going to press my seat back. You might do just one hand at a time, then the other. Back into child's pose. And then let's just hit a hip each side before you go. So I'm going to draw one knee up into pigeon pose.